And this just in to Fox Weather, we have received the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Lee. So we want to show you what has changed. So as of that five o'clock advisory, we have watched as those winds, they have decreased by five miles per hour. So down to 115 miles per hour sustained. Our central pressure has not changed. Still coming in at 948 millibars. And it's moving to the west northwest at seven miles per hour right now. So as of that 11 a.m. advisory, it was moving a little bit faster. Still potentially that seven miles per hour, a little bit generous because boy, Lee is churning slowly through the western Atlantic. Now there also are some major changes when we're talking about the overall cone. So now we do have part of the Cape and included in the cone. And so this is not good to see, especially as we head into the weekend. Notice that overall weakening trend. We are anticipating those winds to drop down to about 115, uh, down to about 105 on Thursday, and then down to 90 miles per hour sustained by Friday. And by Saturday, 75 mile per hour sustained winds. Remember that this is where most likely the center of the storm is going to track. And so that means that we could be talking about some dangerous rip currents, large swells, tropical storm force winds. All of these hazards are on the table for us if you live in portions of New England as well as Canada. So we want you to prepare and we want you to closely monitor the forecast. Keep it here all week long on Fox Weather as we are your Hurricane HQ because Lee is still a major category three hurricane. I was showing you again kind of what's going on, especially on kind of the eastern and southern side of the storm. That's where the most intense, the tallest thunderstorms are located, but also Lee is starting to kind of form an outer eye wall. So we're kind of undergoing the eye wall replacement and that will continue throughout tonight and into portions of tomorrow. The hurricane hunters are in the storm right now gathering crucial meteorological data and so you can see and getting indications of about 60 to 100 mile per hour winds. That's kind of especially on more of that eastern side of the storm. Here's what it looks like on visible satellite, though. Pretty messy, pretty ragged in nature, but you can start to see more of that donut, that outer eye wall that is trying so hard to form. So we've got the hurricane hunters from not just the Air Force, but also from NOAA that are collecting that very inv invaluable data. And so this is going to continue these scheduled flights throughout tonight, so the early morning hours and also all the way into tomorrow. And we'll be bringing you their findings right here on Fox Weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.